Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create alerts for specific instruments and different price levels on the IG trading platform. Now, before I do proceed to the tutorial, I would like to mention that if you are looking for a Forex trading platform or you're looking for something new, feel free to look at the card at the top of the video or you can follow the same link down in the description below which will directly take you to the demo signup page for the IG trading platform. So like I said, this video will be focused on how to create alerts for specific instruments. And it's pretty intuitive and fairly straightforward. So to create an alert, you'll first need to go through our side menu here and find the instrument that you'd like to create that alert for. For this example, I'll be opening up the euro versus US dollar. If you'd like, you can create your alert directly through our little side menu here, or we can add it to our workspace and pop it out to give us some flexibility to work with our actual graph here. Now, as you can see on the top right, there are three different subcategories, three separate tabs here. We have the trading tab, the order tab, and finally the alert tab. And that's what we'll be focused on in this video. So as you can see, there are several keys here or several different filters in which we can establish our alert based off of. So if you do have a specific price change in either percentage or in pips, you can change that here or we can set it based off of specific price levels. So for example, if we wanted to over an hour period have a 1% change in our price level of the euro versus US dollar contract, and we'd like to place a trade based off of that percentage change, we can do so here. Simply as you saw, you can either select pips or percentage, enter your percent percentage here, select the time period in which you would like to establish that alert for. As you can see, you can do it within a five minute period, an hour period or a day period. And then finally, you can just type a, a short message for yourself if you want to. We can say 5% change in the price level of the euro us dollar so that way when it does pop within that day time period we'll get an alert of exactly what happened so if you do for whatever reason glance away from the platform or at any time maybe close the platform down and you reopen it within that day and your price level does change that five percent you'll get an alert with the message stating exactly what happened now, hopefully our alert will tick so during this video recording so you can see what an actual alert looks like when it does pop so that remains to be seen as for our other key here or our other filter we can have our alerts established based off a of price level so as you can see our price level is currently displayed here in this indicator across our screen at 1.13701 so maybe to get an alert tick here, we can base our price level off of 1.1370. And we'll see what happens again. If you'd like, you can place a price or a short message for yourself or a reminder. Let's set our alert and let's see if we actually get an alert based off of when we're recording this video. Now, I would like to also mention that if you do would like to set an alert for yourself based off an indicator you can also do so as well as you can see we are currently under our price levels but as you see there are indicators section as well so if we need to we can add up to four different indicators here based off of different alerts we can create for ourselves as you can see we have moving average momentum the macd standard deviation bollinger band there's a ton of different indicators to be messed around with here so if we put, let's say, moving average, we can change our price to whether it be ask, bid, or mid. We can have it set to one minute, two minute, three minute, 10 minutes, 30, hour, daily, weekly, monthly, a ton of different options here for the resolution time. Again, you can add the indicators as you like, and you can have up to four. So we selected moving average, then we can have it alert based off of our period of 20. And as you can see, you can create a small expression for yourself. So we can have a moving average period of 20. 
which crosses the period of 100. Again, the parameters we're selecting here aren't exactly accurate. This is going to differentiate between trader to trader, method to method. So don't take what we're saying or take what we're saying here with a grain of salt. Once you have everything entered in appropriately, you can left click on add indicator. And as you can see, we now have our indicator alert here. We can do four, three others if we want. So we can have a market price indicator our market prices, whether it's over, under, or crosses. And then as, again, we can just set our price level. So this is actually quite similar to our price level indicator right here, just in indicator form. Again, we can go back by clicking on add indicator, heading back to the market price, and then just simply inputting 1.1370. And for this one, we'll put crosses. We can add our indicator and we can continually do so over and over. And then as you can see, as far as the indicator alerts go, we can have it actually how we're alerted by. So as you can see, this is immediately, or we can have it at the end of the candlestick once it is completely filled. And then we can set it once every time this occurs or just once in general. So after your alerts are filled and they pop up that'll be the last time you see it if you expect to continuously use this indicator over and over and it is crucial for your method i would suggest having every time this occurs enabled that way you're immediately alerted anytime that indicator hits once you have everything set to your liking you can simply click set alerts and as you can see we do get a description of exactly what our indicator will be alerted to